think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Hey, y'all. Good morning. I just came from the store earlier this morning. And so the kiddos are helping put away all of the things. Well, we're not putting them away right now because we're doing a deep clean on the kitchen this morning after I get done making some omelets. We're cooking up some bacon. And then we have some eggs. Oh, look at that. We're not putting anything away, baby. And so I'm just Sorry. having the kids take out all the food and, and just sit it on the counters. Look at that. And then we are going to tackle this today. Mommy, can we I have this? some organization that needs to be yeah. done in here. As you can see. I got it. We have organization that needs to be done in here and then of course in the drawers. And then the pantry. If you remember in my last video, we had just moved in. And so this is what it currently looks like right here. I mean, it's not too bad, but there's definitely some organization that needs to to happen here so I'm gonna take everything out I'm gonna do a good deep clean it is the top of the year and so we just need to refresh all of these things so yeah I hope everybody has had a good new year Christmas and all of those good things and so yeah we'll be back but I just wanted to show y'all what we got going on today. If you are new here to the channel, then welcome love. If you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. Today is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video. I'm going to be stop. I'm going to stop and talk and it's going to be more of like a vlog uh, while I'm getting the kitchen together. As y'all can see, little man is always in the kitchen with me. I just absolutely love the fact that he loves spending time with me because I know that someday soon he will not care too much uh, to do the things that he does with me, but he always wants to help and so I always appreciate it. As you can see, this is definitely a typical morning on the weekends after I've been to the store. Uh, where the kids are just kind of doing their own thing. We're cooking a little bit. We're putting things away. I absolutely love these times. They're sweet moments that I always want to treasure. And so I love recording when we are doing pretty much day in the life where it is like actual routines that we do, um, activity, and everything is just supernatural. I will always, always treasure these moments. As you can see, this kitchen compared to our other kitchens, are it's very, very tight. So we can't wait to move and be able to kind of spread out because the kitchen is one of our favorite places to be together. There was a part of me that knew that And still I got by surprise I thought you'd always be mine Oh yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down Baby going down, down, down the, on this morning, the kiddos wanted omelets, so that is what we were cooking up. We very rarely cook omelets. We usually will do pancakes, bacon, and eggs, but that's what they wanted this morning, so that's what mama was cooking, um, and I don't ever mind it because it's a good, hearty breakfast, and throughout the day, they typically snack when they are at home. So we at least try to get them one decent meal a day inside those little bellies. Oh, that bacon was so good.
Comment below if y'all do a little snacking in between your cooking. I know I'm not the only one. I love you the most. Now I thought I should let you know. Yeah, I know. No, there's no more, no. I really thought we had it covered. I was gonna patch up all the scars. But we smashed up all the parts. Oh, no, no, no. Always knew that you were stubborn. But didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out. Okay, y'all, so I used to eat this Tilmark cheese, which is really, really good, actually, by the way. Um, and we would get it from Target, H-E-B, when we had one. But I have since, uh, probably about a couple of weeks ago, switched over to this Daya cheese, which is dairy-free. And so for those of you who have been following me for a while, then you know that I used to suffer with allergies very severely and so I've always I'm always looking for ways to kind of um, just substitute or uh, have more of a better uh, I guess like better eating habits and so I have been hearing a lot about the diet cheese and so I tried it and I actually love it so it is dairy free uh, which is good because as you know dairy products can cause like mucus buildup, congestion, all of that stuff. And so with everything that's going on um, as well, we want to decrease that as much as possible. So this is dairy free, soy free and gluten free. Um, and so, like I said, I've been using this now for a couple of weeks and I love it. So I repurchased it and I'm actually making it with my omelet this morning. Um, I still have some left over and so if y'all want uh, to just know more about this and just some other eating habits that I'm kind of switching up and that I've made a change to that has helped with my health then definitely let me know I'd be uh, willing to do a video I'd love to share uh, those things with you so I mean even before the new year started I wanted to just have better eating habits um, we don't eat I mean we eat clean for the most part we eat at home a lot I cook a lot we don't eat out um, but I just want to you know continue to just keep that train running as far as health wise and so yeah so if you have been on the fence about trying this diet cheese I definitely recommend it I love it no, no, no. Homemade omelets are the best. First and foremost, you know every ingredient that's in there, including seasonings and all of the good stuff. All the oil that you see is avocado oil. That is what we use to cook with all the time. And it really changed some things for us when we started using avocado oil versus olive oil. So we love this a lot more and we've been doing this for probably about a year now. So definitely try avocado oil and I think it is probably better for you than olive oil. But hey, a popular opinion. I got so high on a low, that's when I love you the most. Now I thought I should let you know, yeah. Now, me and baby boy are cleaning out the fridge and about to whip this refrigerator into shape. It is time for a good deep cleaning on this fridge. I haven't cleaned it since we moved in, and so who knows what I'm going to find in there. But we're just clearing everything out so we can start with a clean slate. Baby going down, down, down Baby going down 
keep moving like the river goes Baby, going down, down, down Baby, going down, 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 down And I thought it's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know But you know, no one's no more, no Okay, love, so as y'all know In all of my videos I use my 100% natural non-toxic cleaning products um, there are a few different ones that I rotate between but they are all non-toxic and so if you want more information on those I always put my email address at the bottom okay and so check that out definitely email me some of you have already emailed me and have gotten your products and have been loving them this has made a tremendous difference okay in my asthma in allergies just inside the house just from changing the cleaning products that I use so if you want more information on this just shoot me an email hey okay, y'all so this is what is in the fridge right now we are going to get those things cleaned up I don't know how good you can see those it's not it's not horrible but we definitely want to clean all of that up and then at the bottom here you see it's just little remnants of stuff you see underneath there where food kind of falls we definitely want to get that together Anytime I do a deep cleaning like this, it just makes me feel so much better. Almost like I can breathe, like there's a weight lifted off. And so I'm going to try to not wait to do this um, months at a time. I'll try to probably do this once a month and just put this into the rotation like I do other areas of the house. I'm kinda new with apologies. Holding back, I got history. Now I'm just placing everything back into the fridge, um, just trying to get some organization going so we know where everything is and so the kiddos can reach everything. Comment below if you sometimes forget that there are some things in your fridge or pantry because you can't see it. <laughs> I know that that is me quite often and so I'm really trying to get a system going to where I can see the majority of the things that we have so that we are not double purchasing things. Having a smaller fridge um, really has helped us to kind of scale back on over purchasing items. And so we have been purchasing just what we need and that's it. And it really has been a really, really great system that we have going. And so even when we do move, I think that we're gonna try to keep everything as simplistic as possible because it just really does save money um, and it just keeps things a lot more organized. Where you flee, you don't stick around, no. But the way you've been giving me time, oh, it's something in me that says it's fine. Hoping you wouldn't change me. You got the same old thoughts, be my referee. I will be alright, never could.
I saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat around been loving being in the kitchen and cooking with me lately and so I have been writing down recipes in the recipe book that was given to me by my godmother um, so I just want to add to that and someday be able to pass that on to them so I definitely try to support the fact that they are interested I definitely think that a woman should know her way around the kitchen uh, so teaching them while they are young definitely is something that I'm excited about and to do with them. This one right here is definitely our little firecracker and so she's super sarcastic. And so we laugh all the time. So she definitely brightens up a room. And even when we don't feel like it, she makes us laugh. I will always remember it. So what we are making right now is my homemade baked potato soup. Um, and so I absolutely love baked potato soup anytime I used to go to the restaurant and so I always wanted to learn how to make it myself. I am still very much in the phase of perfecting it, but at least base wise, I've gotten a really good start. So I've tested this out a few different times. The family loves it. I still, of course, as a perfectionist, just still feel like there's something missing. So surely I'm going to figure out what that is and hopefully get this recipe down to a T so that I can share it with y'all. How you turn everything around I will always remember it How you got me off the battleground Thank you all so much for watching and joining us today. I hope that y'all really enjoyed this day in the life slash get your life together slash get it all done slash mama hood and all the slashes after that. Uh, definitely subscribe if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to like, share with a friend. 
another love who could use some motivation. And check out my other videos that I have right here to the side. You don't want to miss another upload. And I hope that this encouraged you today, love. All right, see you in the next one. Bye, love. I'm coming out with apologies.